Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday and welcome back to another weekly home fragrance roundup. If you are new around here, first of all, welcome. Happy to have you. Um, but the weekly home fragrance roundup is a video that I put up uh, pretty much every Saturday here on my channel. It's just an opportunity for me to gather up everything that I used during the week in terms of home fragrance. So candles, wax melts, what I was crocking, what I was lamping, and it just is, a, it's a little bit of a wax chat, if you will. I just kind of sit here and give you guys updates. Some of these candles I may have already done in-depth reviews of, and as I burn them further, if something develops, here is an opportunity for me to update you guys about that. Um, so yeah, I just, I love doing this video. I always have a great time with it and I really love reading about what you guys are burning and melting as well. So make sure that you leave uh, what you have going around your house for the past week in the comments down below. Um, before we dive too far into the video, the usual disclaimer of uh, checking out the description box. Again, especially if you're newer, there might be some useful information down there for you. I have some videos that I always have linked that are related to home fragrance might be helpful for example if you don't know what a candle crock or a candle lamp is I have a whole video about that I also have my favorite crocks and lamps listed in the description box as well there are links to all the candles that I show you here um, there are discount codes if you are interested in saving a little bit more money um, with a couple different candle companies and I also link the sales that are happening um, specifically at the companies that I personally frequent the most. I don't list all of the candle sales for all of the candle companies, but you know, just my favorites. So anyway, you guys, before we get into, uh, what I was, uh, you know, mostly digging into this week and talking a little bit more in depth, we are going to do a little tour of what is currently burning around the house and also what I have underneath my Crocs and my lamps that got used this week. Um, I will tell you right now, I have four candles lit right now, and a couple of them are not playing well with each other. Um, I, I'm testing a lot of fall and Halloween candles right now, so sometimes the house has been smelling like a little bit of a hodgepodge. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think I need to think about that a little bit more before I start lighting things up. Um, but yeah, man, there's there's a lot of Halloween reviews coming. There's a lot of fall reviews coming. It's just it's a lot of candle reviews coming. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, but let's go ahead and um, let's see what's currently going on around the house. And I'll meet you guys back here and we'll dive into these other things. All right, guys, here in the entryway, I am currently burning the Kringle Artist Collection cute black cat on a pumpkin. Um, the names for <laughs> all of these fragrances in this artist collection are quite descriptive of the labels, which kind of makes me giggle a little bit. Um, I really, I really like what they did with this collection um, in terms of the ombre finish of these jars. Honestly, it is stunning. Whoever they used to create this, uh, have them make more of these for you because I love the finish. It has a really smooth, soft texture as well. Um, so I, I don't know, just a, a lot of things about this collection really appeal to me, including the labels, obviously, you know, the finish on the actual jars. Um, I will say, however, the fragrances are, they're a little hit and miss in this one. I think everybody is going to love this particular scent. Um, I would not be surprised if this one is already sold out. I haven't taken a look yet, but I imagine if there will be a sellout in this collection, it's going to be this one. This is the more classic fall, um, fall type fragrance, if you will. Um, so here you're getting a nice, delicious, creamy pumpkin. You're getting those classic fall spices, a nice kind of smooth vanilla throughout everything. Um, is it a like super innovative fall scent? No, but is it like a really well done classic take on a fall fragrance? Yeah, this is a great scent and I'm really enjoying this one. So... Um, yeah, this is one where I hope they keep this fragrance profile in the lineup. 
I also hope that they do keep the label as well. I know there's been some controversy about the AI generated labels, but I think this one is particularly sweet. Out of all of the uh, Kringle um, Halloween collections from this year, I think aesthetically these this collection appeals to me the most. Um, I just think the the images are mostly just very sweet. There's that one creepy clown, but the rest of them I think are just very sweet. And anyway, you'll hear more in-depth reviews um, about this artist collection coming up. Um, I anticipate probably a couple of sellouts, but I also anticipate that a lot of these will stick around. So while I'm not ready to do in-depth reviews of them yet, you will be seeing those hopefully here soon. We are now in my kitchen where I am burning the artist collection Moody Witch with a broomstick. <laughs> so again, here we have an image of a Moody Witch with a broomstick. So very descriptive, right? Anyway, this particular scent is not one that I would personally consider to be very much of a like fall type concoction, if you will. This is a very perfumey scent. Um, it's a sweet kind of intense, potent, powdery floral note that emanates from this one. Um, it's interesting. I actually do like the fragrance, but I just think that it kind of belongs more so in spring than, you know, in the fall. This is one of those fragrances where I think if a lot of people smelled it, they would probably really like it, but I anticipate that it might not sell out because it's not what I think a lot of people are maybe looking for in terms of Halloween or even fall type fragrances, right? So it is beautiful. And I would say if you are good with, you know, um, with maybe turning the label around for the springtime. I would still recommend getting this one because it is just a really lovely perfumey fragrance. But if you are looking for, you know, Halloween inspired scents, this would not be one of the recommendations. But I do like the label. She's, she's a very pretty witch. I'll give her that. But anyway, let's move on. All right, friends, we have now moved on to the family room where I am burning smoked a uh, butterscotch latte from Above Love Candle Co. Um, this was sent to me in PR, full disclosure. Um, the creator of this brand, OG, reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to share some of her products here on my channel. And um, honestly, I just, I really love this woman's energy, you guys. She is such a lovely human being and um, just really loves what she does. So anyway, she also has a really great nose for fragrance. Let me just tell you that. The only thing I will say is that I would like to see this candle company get into a larger format of candle. Um, these smaller one wicks, when I put three of them together, they give me about, I would say, the fr same fragrance output as an average Bath & Body Works candle. However, individually on their own, kind of spaced out, they do struggle to fill my like more open concept area downstairs here. These candles quite honestly do a lot better in the upstairs of the house. I've burned these in a guest bedroom. I have burned these also in our master bedroom. And those, um, the, the rooms in the upstairs of our house have a lower ceiling and they are significantly smaller than these larger open concept areas downstairs. So these do better in smaller areas. If you have an older home, if you, uh, you know, maybe live in more of an apartment type situation, where you don't have a ton of space to fill, these would probably do quite well for you. But for me, like I said, I'd really like to see OG expand to a larger vessel with additional wicks. Now, I know that that is definitely a big jump, um, but I do think she can eventually get there, hopefully. I really like what she's doing with her company and this fragrance right here. Oh my gosh, if you only try one thing from them, try this smoked butterscotch latte. It is delicious. I will still do some in-depth reviews of these. You can see with this one especially that I am just about at 
sorry, oh geez, that I am just about at the halfway point. Um, I am at that place with, um, I think, all of these now at this point. So I'll be reviewing these for you in depth probably next week. Um, I'm thinking about just reviewing all of them in one video. Let me know if you guys are good with that. Um, and uh, and I'll go ahead and uh, film the video uh, that way. But um, if you would prefer the individual reviews, I can also do that. But I just, I think, I think I can combine them all in one video and not, you know, make that hopefully more than like 20 minutes. So, all right, let's move on to the last candle that I am currently burning. The very last candle that I currently have lit is Witch Magic Spell Books. Um, again, another very descriptive name for the label here. Um, this is obviously another candle from the artist collection. Um, this one is, once again, unfortunately not a very distinct Halloween or even fall type of scent. This comes across, again, as a kind of interesting, powdery, slightly fresh floral. Um, honestly, this one reminds me a little bit of, it gives me a little bit of like a cleaning product type of vibe, um, but pleasant. It's a very pleasant fragrance, but once again, I feel like this belongs more so in spring than it does in, um, in the fall or around Halloween time. It's a great scent. Um, this is, again, this is kind of the frustrating thing for me with this, with a lot of these florals that they popped into these Halloween collections. They are great scents, but, and I do think that if they offered these in the spring, people would probably snap them up. I just think this is maybe the wrong time to release this type of fragrance. So um, it's kind of a bummer because I don't think a lot of these are going to get the credit in terms of like the scents themselves that they deserve just because they they just don't really suit the season that they are being released in. That being said, if you are not a seasonal burner and you're looking for a couple of great florals, um, I would definitely recommend the Moody Witch and this one. So if you're interested, um, you can save 15% with my discount code. Anyway, um, let's move on to what is currently in my Crocs and under my lamps. All right, guys, welcome to my laundry room where one of my favorite candle Crocs of all time is housed. And in here, I have the very last little bit of my Bath & Body Works Radiant Sky. I love... I adore this fragrance. I was super bummed to not see it come back this year. That would have definitely gotten me back into the store um, a little bit more frequently had <laughs> they re-released Radiant Sky. Um, but I guess, you know, maybe it helped me save some money. But at any rate, um, I'm desperate for them to bring this fragrance back. If any of you have some insider information on, you know, like who we can all mass email about, getting this to return, um, I'd like to start a petition because this is a great scent. It's so delicious. It is so authentic. Um, I just, lo I love lychee and this just, I think is my very favorite lychee candle of all time. And of course, you know, of course it doesn't return. That's just the way it works for me, I feel like. But yeah, this, this is the one area where it is a little bit frustrating now that I am no longer buying things in bulk the way that I used to in terms of home fragrance. Um, it's going to mean that um, I'm gonna finish some more of my favorites and I'm not necessarily gonna have backups, but I'm trying really hard just to remind myself that, you know, just because this favorite is no longer available, They'll bring something out next year that will also be delicious and yummy and will probably appeal to me and I can just, you know, embrace that. But would I love to have Radiant Sky back? Heck yes, I would. <sighs> anyway, all right. This is depressing. Let's move on. Welcome to my master bedroom in the croc that I have in here. By the way, this is one of the crocs that I have linked down below. This here is the ivory option. Um, if this is still a little bit too much, uh, like, you know, design for you on a crock, the other one is just plain white, and that's a great option as well. But 
I prefer these more neutral Crocs. There are a lot of candle Crocs available, but quite a number of them have, you know, inspirational quotes, religious sayings, or they are just like super, um, like specific to maybe like a season. Like I've seen a snowman one floating around. Um, but I, I really prefer things to be a little bit more neutral. So these two are my current, um, most recommended Crocs that are down in the description box. Anyway, what do I have in here? All right. This is actually one of the fall 2024 country candles. Um, so I just recently reviewed it and then, um, Craig said he actually really liked the smell of it. So I decided to pop it into the candle crock upstairs here. So this is the glazed berry scone. Let me stick this back in here because that's a lot of liquefied wax, but um, the glazed uh, berry scone is new for fall 2024 from Country Candle. I, I love this fragrance and honestly, this burned really, really well. It did not need to be crocked, but um, again, Craig said he really enjoyed this one. I really liked it and it kind of smells really great here in the bedroom. So um, I will definitely be picking up some more of this. If not in the candle format, then most definitely in the wax melts at the very least. It is delicious. I don't think it's necessarily too fall specific. So it's also a fragrance that, you know, I would even burn during the spring and summer. Um, you know, it's got that lovely like gourmand scone note to it. Um, but the predominant fruit note here is blueberry and blueberry doesn't always make me think of fall in fact blueberry to my nose is a little bit more of a summertime fruity scent um but it is delicious so um glad they came out with it hope it stays in the lineup and um i'll definitely at the very least like i said need some more in the wax melt so just waiting for a good sale on those wax melts and then uh your girl is your girl's gonna bite so anyway let's move on to the last candle crock here in this last crock in the upstairs of the house, I am just finishing up. Um, I think I'm on the last few days of this Seabreeze fragrance. Seabreeze was released, um, I think, was it 2022? I think it was the summer of 2022. Anyway, this is an amazing, like, beachy coconut fragrance. And again, if you are not a seasonal burner and you are still happily purchasing summer fragrances, pop this one in your cart. It's so good. I adore this scent. Um, and I had maybe about a third of the wax left. And since I have fully transitioned to burning fall exclusively at this point, I just figured I might as well finish this one up. So this has been scenting this back part of the upstairs of the house now for, uh, it's been two weeks at this point. And it's definitely starting to peter out. So I think maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and turn this one off. And then um, maybe, you know, if I want to pop something else in here, I will. But also, um, I like to give the Crocs a break every now and then because I do tend to leave them on 24 hours a day until I am done with any given candle. So let's go check out what is underneath two of my lamps downstairs and then we will return to the rest of the uh, candles and wax melts that I was enjoying this week. This is the candle warmer that I have sitting next to my desk here in my office. Um, and this week, since we, you know, made the changeover exclusively to fall, I decided to grab uh, a couple of my older three wick candles from Homeworks. And um, this here, I know you can't really see the label super well, but that is Scarlet Woods. Now, Scarlet Woods has returned, but so far, I believe it's only at QVC. It is available in a single. But the price point at QVC for Homeworks candles for the singles, I don't think really makes sense. Um, there's not really much of a discount. And then you, we all know that QVC like charges shipping per item. So that just, I don't know, that's not reasonable for me. And as much as I love Scarlet Woods, unless it comes out in a duo at QVC or if it eventually manages to make its way to the uh, Slatkin & Co. website, um, you know, I don't think I foresee myself picking up any backups. <laughs> Not that I need fall backup candles right now. Um, this is my next kind of journey here is whittling down the Homeworks fall collection, which is quite extensive. But 
I think I'm going to be able to put a really good dent in this one this year, just like I did with the spring and summer candles. So, but anyway, this Scarlet Woods, I, admittedly, when this was first released, I liked the fragrance, but I wasn't gaga about it. I don't know, again, what has changed with regard to my scent receptors and my nose, but now when I smell this, I love it. Like, I'm just craving it. <laughs> so... I think this is the only Scarlet Woods that I have left, so maybe I'll kind of nurse this one along. But I have to say, this has been going for two eight-hour melt sessions each day because I do have a timer on this particular lamp. Um, I've been doing two eight-hour melting sessions, and I have yet to pour off the first layer of wax. And that has been happening every single day this week since, let's see, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday would be the two. On Monday is the first session that I did, but I didn't get home until a little bit later on in the day. I was up visiting my mom. So I only did one eight-hour session on Monday. But the rest of the week, this has been on pretty much the vast majority of the day. And I am still smelling this so intensely. It's really quite strong and potent. Um, it's just a lovely, like, I would consider this more of a perfumey take on a fall fragrance. But there's a nice woodiness to this one. It's almost like a more mature, less fruity version of Harvest Leaves. That's what I would kind of call this one. But anyway, it's delightful. But I... I really wish that it was either in a duo on QVC <laughs> or again, hopefully we can, we can all cross our fingers that it pops up at the, uh, homeworks website directly. So we'll see. All right. One more and then we will head back to the fancy lady living room. This is the last candle lamp that I'm going to show you guys. And under this one, um, this was from the same collection that I grabbed the Scarlet Woods from. It was a trio of three wick candles. And I want to say it was a TSV maybe in 2019, 2020. I wish I could remember. Um, I could probably look it up on the bottom of the label, but these, these are completely... Well, at least the very top layer is completely liquefied right now, so I'm not going to risk spilling all that wax. But anyway, what is this? This is the Spiced White Pumpkin. This is such a great basic pumpkin fragrance. This one's really pleasant. Um, burns fine. I mean, I, I don't need to be melting this, but it's the perfect like background pumpkin fragrance. It's not overly spicy despite, you know, the name saying spiced white pumpkin. I don't consider this one too spicy at all. It's actually a really pleasant spice level. Um, and that creamy white pumpkin note running through there. It's just, it's a stunner. Um, I'm, I think this one, I imagine this one will come back. If it's not back already, I imagine that they'll probably bring this fragrance back. Um, I have several backups of this in the four wick as well. So, um, it's a great scent. Um, if Harry has not brought it back this year, then I hope he considers bringing it back next year. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the family room and talk about what else I was burning and melting this week. All right. Welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed that little tour of what's, what's currently happening around the house. Like I said, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge. There are some things that, you know, I probably shouldn't be burning or melting together, but you know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the two candles that I finished this week. Um, the first one is my farm stand peach. Mm, I love farm stand peach. I am, um, like I mentioned, I'm trying to finish up all of the remaining summer candles that I sort of, you know, had going around the house. I have fully transitioned to fall now and it just, it makes me happy. So I'm good with that. Um, but I also understand that a lot of people are not ready to move on from summer quite yet. So if that's you and you are still ordering summer candles, I really like this farm stand peach. It is delightful. And um, I think it's one of the best fruity options that Homeworks has to offer. I love this one. I also finished Beachside from Boats Candle Co. Um, 
This one was really lovely. I burned this mostly in my uh, downstairs powder room. This has like a creamy coconut base and then it also has some other tropical fruits. It just, it was delicious. So love this one. And I also like reusing these jars. We actually have these. I thought we were going to put them in uh, with Craig's like um, specialty glasses for like his bourbons and his whiskeys and stuff like that. But Stella likes using these as juice glasses. So these are, these are actually whiskey glasses. <laughs> Stella thinks it's the perfect juice glass. So um, anyway, I put these in our kitchen cabinet. I, I obviously cleaned them out quite well. Um, they clean up very easily with, uh, you know, warm soapy water and um, yeah, and then th these are perfect to reuse. So if you're interested, I do have Boats Candle Co. Uh, linked in the description box. So um, this is a smaller woman-owned business. I love supporting those and Marina, the creator of this brand, I think it's just a lovely human being and she has a really, she has a good nose for this stuff. So if you're interested, these are linked down below. But let's talk about, uh, wait, nope, we have more. I have one more empty, is that it? Yes, okay, one more empty. This is random, this is super random. So I was going through my candles and just kind of getting things ready to, uh, you know, start grabbing fall instead of summer. And I came across this, what is this? Okay, this is a Homeworks candle that I think came out last holiday season, uh, Sugared Citrus Spur. And uh, I just had the, it was like, I maybe had like a third of this left and I don't know why I just didn't finish it. I don't normally put candles away like this. I will just finish it up. But anyway, for whatever reason, I popped this into a closet and I grabbed it out and I was like, I'm just gonna finish it. I really like this scent. I don't, I really hope this actually comes back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I liked this when I first got it. I don't remember, I must have done an in-depth review of this. I'm pretty sure I did. But the notes here are mountain fir needle, sugared citrus, uh, iced mint leaf. I know there is some mint in here, but it's not overpowering. Um, there's also juniper in here as well. And I think the juniper and the fir, those are the notes that really get me in this one. This is delightful. Um, hopefully this comes back. This was a three wick. I like this hobnail design. Just really pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I'm going to clean it out and keep it. That's pretty. All right. Now we are getting into things that are not done. Let's, um, let's stick with homeworks while we're at it. Okay. Uh, cinnamon vanilla. Um, I actually got this from my candle friend, Fiona. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know who Fiona is. She is Wax and Fats on Instagram. But she, um, she I think, bought a duo of this and then um, gifted me one of these. We, like, exchange candles with each other um, periodically. She gave me this earlier this year at some point, and I just kind of put it away because I was like, oh, that's totally fall. I got it out a few days ago. You guys, this smells incredible. I don't know how I missed this candle. I don't know how I missed this. <laughs> This is totally something that I would have bought anyway. So this is vanilla bean, cinnamon stick, allspice, and clove. That that's really all that this is. Like it's perfectly. Like it's it's, yeah. All of these notes that I smell them when it's burning, and on cold scent. This is delicious. This is a really nice cinnamon, by the way. It's like that softer, uh, like Ceylon cinnamon versus like that like spicy red hot type of cinnamon so pleasant just a lovely ge generic not in a bad way but generic as in like a classic fall spicy scent it's it's that is delightful i really enjoy that um praline pecan Ooh, i have several backups of this and i finally decided to bust one of my backups out um oh man harry needs to put this one out again this is delicious you guys this is pure nutty pecans like slightly sweetened nutty pecans not overly sweet not cloying just so good this is so good when was this one from looks like 2021 yeah pecan creamy toffee whipped vanilla and almond butter just delicious gonna gonna want more of that at some point all right there's only one bath and body works candle that i was burning this week um i shared a bath and body works candle haul i think it was on tuesday um i finally partook in a sale last weekend so if you missed the haul i'll link that down below but one of the new candles that i picked up was vanilla romance look who finally decided to show up for work well 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 
Well, 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 here he is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, if you are not familiar, um, I usually film this video alongside my trusty assistant Alf here. Um, but today he was taking a nap on the couch. You were being lazy, weren't you? Yes, yeah. He was taking a nap with Penny. Anyway, he has made his triumphant return, which is great. So the snoring that you're probably going to start hearing, that's, it's Alf. He's, he's my assistant around here. So, but he usually falls asleep on the job. So Vanilla Romance, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is a great scent. This is, by the way, not the lid that came with it. Uh, I just put this on here because I thought it was prettier than the boring lid that they put on here. Um, I don't remember where this one was from. It's gorgeous though, right? Look at that texture on there. That's so nice. All right, um, Vanilla Romance. Mmm, it reminds me of one of my favorite perfumes, Vanilla Woods. Um, it's not an exact dupe of Vanilla Woods, but it's pretty close, and it's just, it's so pretty. Very perfumey vanilla, like a deeper vanilla. It really does give me Vanilla Woods vibes. I feel like a lot of things give me Vanilla Woods vibes, but I think I seek them out. Like, I look for these similar fragrances to my per my like perfect most favorite perfume um and this i think this is good uh, who was it that told me there was it wicked vanilla i can never remember names so please don't get offended if i if i can't remember your name but there was someone who had mentioned that there is another vanilla that also smells pretty similar to vanilla woods uh, I want to say she said Wicked Vanilla, but that doesn't sound right. Hmm. Okay, I'll look that up and I'll put it in a little annotation here. How about that? <laughs> anyway, need to get my hands on that. Okay, you guys, I did my first in-depth fall 2024 Kringle Classic Jar Candle review this week, and I started with the Bourbon Apple and Oud. Honestly, this is a stunner of a fragrance. If you're looking for a great fall transitional scent, I, I cannot recommend this one enough. I don't actually smell the bourbon here, but I do get kind of a heavy like oak type note for sure. So if you're just wanting fresh apple, this is a little bit beyond that, but it's stunning. This, uh, I it's like one of my number one recommendations to like, if you're just wanting to try something different from Kringle, I would say try this. It's so interesting. I don't normally love these like more oud heavy type fragrances, but it's done really well in here. So, uh, but if you do hate oud, uh, obviously skip this because you would, it would make you very unhappy. I know there's a few people that follow me that are like, I don't like oud anything. And if that is you, don't buy it. But if you enjoy that kind of like almost sweet balsamic type of oud note, you should, you should try that. It's delightful. Um, here we have a salted maple pumpkin. I dug into this one a couple times this week. This one is really, really yummy. Um, I really enjoy this particular one. I will say I'm kind of annoyed with this plastic piece on this one because it keeps freaking popping off. I mean, it's easy enough to like put back on here, but I don't know why some of those do that. But mm, this is a delicious gourmand. Ugh, I just, man, this is good. And you know what? This is like a nice maple here. It's not an overpowering maple. This is delicious. Also, this makes me want pumpkin pie real bad. Um, does Costco have the pumpkin pies out yet? <laughs> Who loves a giant Costco pumpkin pie? I can't decide whether I like the apple or... You know what I like about the apple pie at Costco? If we can just take a little uh, like side street here. Um, I love like the thick crust, like the thick lattice crust that goes over top, how the bottom of it is always kind of slightly gooey because um, it's like it's sitting on top of the apples, but then like the top part of that lattice is like usually super crunchy. I like that contrast of the crunchy with the soggy underneath. I know, random, but that I, I love. I love those Costco pies. 
I look we can never get through an entire one like we usually end up like calling our neighbors like can we bring you some of this like apple or pumpkin pie because it's gonna go bad but luckily we live on a really great street and people are willing to take leftovers <laughs> so <laughs> we can usually pawn off the leftovers on somebody else but man I am craving a Costco apple pie it's just so good let me know your preference either apple or pumpkin what's your favorite Costco pie okay Haunted Hollows, this was the first uh, classic black jar Halloween review that I did an in-depth review of this week. This is a great scent, and this is also one that sold out, unfortunately. But it's so good, you guys. A lot of people really think this smells like a holiday fragrance because of the fur note in here. I don't know. I personally don't consider this a Christmas time fragrance, but I do understand where some people could definitely say that it leans that way for them. But yeah, I just, I really appreciate this just as a really lovely, interesting take on Halloween. Um, the apple that's in here is really quite lovely as well. Um, and then there is a really lovely patchouli. The patchouli is that's that's a good patchouli so big fan of that um also i have been burning the six feet under um quite a bit this week this is a tough one for me you guys it's just so earthy um i've burned it inside a couple times but i'm mostly burning it on our back patio area it is so potent that it like it definitely makes our whole backyard smell like a freshly dug grave which if that's what you're going for you should get this it is it's accurate and the other accurate one that is it's a tough burn is carnage a lot of people are saying that they are getting a like stomach acid vomity if you will type scent from this to me this one ugh, it still gives off the smell of like iron so I have uh I'm prone to low ferritin levels so I have to take these iron supplement pills it's it kind of smells like my iron supplement pills but then it also smells metallic to my nose like I can almost smell like the the knife the knife part of this picture here um yeah I, I feel like I am smelling this image which it's disturbing it's it's a disturbing image but uh yeah listen uh if you like the smell of uh of blood and metal I have a candle for you <laughs> it's this one I don't know I yeah I not that I want to smell like that stomach acid, but I, I wonder if that would be a little bit more appealing to me than the blood and the metal. Probably not, but this is just not the type of fragrance that I typically go towards. Uh, just so you guys are aware, the, these Halloween candles were sent to me. So um, there are a few that are absolutely stunning though. And one of the ones that I have fallen in love with, and I keep mentioning it because I want more people to buy it. Please buy this. <laughs> Please love it so that it can hopefully stick around in the fragrance lineup, but the Skull and Sonnet, ooh, this is good. This is one that I think I'm actually, see, this one's doing it too. Why are some of these doing this? That's really obnoxious. For some reason, the Halloween ones are doing it to me a lot, but you can see I'm quite a ways down on this one. This will probably be my next in-depth Halloween review. Oh, yes. This is just a really beautiful, dark academia, slightly smoky, perfumey, leathery, old books, just intense, intense dark academia. This is, this is really good. There's tobacco in here, but it's more of like a pipe tobacco. It's just, it's, this is delightful. Uh, if you pick this one up, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know. I love it. I love it so much. It's so, so good. Um, and then uh, we're, we're talking a lot. And we're back. Sorry, Alf had a little bit of a bark fit because uh, a kid came to the door. <laughs> we're not allowed to have visitors according to Alf. So anyway, I've got him calmed back down and let's continue on with these candles here. So this is Praline Buttercream. This was the last uh, of the country candles that I reviewed for fall 2024. Um, 
I really adore this fragrance. This is definitely one of my top favorites for Country Candle for Fall 2024. If you are a huge fan of like nutty, like sweet but not overly sweet gourmand fragrances, this one is delightful. It really does smell like a buttercream frosting base with a really nice nuttiness running throughout it. Um, I will say if you have this and the uh, Praline Pecan from Homeworks, you should try burning them together. I did that this week and that was mwah, chef's kiss in terms of perfection. That is delightful. All right, let's dig into these Spellbound candles just really quickly. The in-depth reviews will hopefully start coming out for these uh, next week. I'm going to try to kind of mix uh, the um, classic jars in with some of these and then also obviously the fall classic jars as well. I, I still have a lot of Kringle candles to review. I'm trying to like figure out which ones to put out first. I feel like there's more of a rush for Halloween. Um, because those typically are the ones that sell out and are not necessarily restocked. So I don't know, I'm having a hard time picking like what, like what do I burn first? What do I review first? So feel free to help me out with that. Let me know what you guys are interested in. Okay, um, but let's dig into these. I did do some just like written out uh, reviews, just initial reviews prior to the launch on my community tab, but Let's kind of reiterate what I wrote there. Um, so this is Hexes on My Exes, and I don't particularly love this one. I also don't think this is a very Halloween fragrance. While I love the look of this collection, I love the black jars, I like that they went with a completely different vibe for these, um, and I love the crystals that were in here. I will say this comes off as mostly just like a very soapy rose type fragrance. Um, if you like a potent, more classic soapy red rose type scent, uh, you can't go wrong with this one, I'll tell you that. However, I just, I, I don't, I don't think of that as Halloween per se. Um, I mean, you know, I guess maybe for someone somewhere, but for me, I would I would have gone with a different choice. Maybe something more along the lines of like a more typical like fall type fragrance, but also I don't know if that would, you know, go with the vibe of this. So this, the notes in here read floral, uh, rose, jasmine, violet, sandalwood, and fruit. But like I said, this is predominantly a soapy rose and a very classic, very traditional red rose scent. Um, so not my favorite out of the bunch, but if, if you like that red rose, you cannot go wrong with this one, that's for sure. This next one is Guardian's Vigil, and this is one that I would definitely put into more of that like typical like Halloween type fragrance. This one has a lot more depth to it. It is um, it is still kind of in the perfumey family, but it has more like like deeper, more I would say masculine perfume vibes to it. So I, I do think that this is a nice take on a Halloween scent with this one. So the notes are patchouli, spice, fur, resin, herbal, amber, and green. This patchouli is a really nicely done perfumey patchouli. It's not super earthy. Um, it's not at all like, you know, the patchouli vibes from, say, the Six Feet Under, for example. Completely different. This also gives me a little bit of like a tobacco smoke type of vibe. That's not listed on here, but I feel like I kind of get that in here. Um, the amber is really nice in here. Again, the amber is very perfumey. I just, I, I like this. It's a very deep, interesting take on a Halloween scent. And I think a lot of people would like this one. So don't like entirely write it off. I think this is one that is worth checking out from the Spellbound collection. This is a Purifying Radiance. Okay, this one. Mm, I don't love it. And you know why? I smell a lot of mint in here. Again, mint doesn't really take me to the end of October per se. Um, mint, I think, lends itself in my eyes a little bit better to either spring or summer fragrances. And this is just very mint forward. I definitely smell some of that sage that's in here. Um, 
There is also just a little bit of like generic, a generic floral that comes from those floral aldehydes that are mentioned. But it's predominantly a minty scent. So yeah, I don't know. Don't, I don't love this. I don't love this one personally, um, but that's okay. Um, not every fragrance is made for me. <laughs> okay, Fortune's Beacon. All right, here we have uh, Jasmine Green Hyacinth Clover Wood and Musk. If you like hyacinth, you should get this candle because that's all this is. <laughs> that's all that I get. I do not smell any of these other notes. I smell 100% hyacinth. Um, yeah, this one also forms some crazy mushroom tops, as you can see there. Uh, yeah, I... Mm, I don't love this one either. I just, I really would love to see the florals stay in the spring and maybe around the summer, but um, I, I don't know if this one is going to sell out just because it is one of the more floral forward ones, that's for sure. And I just don't know a lot of people are looking for that right now. But if you're willing to hang on to this until the spring and maybe if you have like a cute candle sleeve, you can put this one in. It is a very, very potent floral. If you are looking for a very strong performer from Kringle, Country Candle, whatever, th this is it. Yeah, it's, it's a floral, but <laughs> it'll definitely knock your socks off. It is very, very strong. So these last two um i really like these last two and i think these are definitely more in the halloween category so if you're looking for either of these limerence and light this fragrance just in general i have fallen in love with so this is cedarwood marine water green peach skin autumn patchouli sandalwood feather musk black vanilla amber and tonka i want to wear this this is one of those fragrances that makes me think Kringle should really get into making perfumes. This is gorgeous. This is actually, I think, what would be like considered kind of a great like unisex type fragrance. Oh, it's, just, it's just lovely. Very perfumey. I love the amber. I love that black vanilla in here. The feather musk. It's just a really soft, pretty musk. And the amber I just I love the amber that's in here that tonka is lovely the cedar wood the patchouli all of it this is just a great scent it's a great scent I kind of want more of this one <laughs> this is a great bedroom scent I think this one is very romantic it's very warm very it's kind of a seductive scent I like this one I like this one a lot and what's the last one spirits call oh yeah listen if you like the spooky smoky scents um oh this is very heavy smoke um what's this one called uh what's i think it's the guayac the guayac wood um that gives it like that real smokiness here now it does say smoked pumpkin as well there's also clove wood cedar wood and autumn patchouli um i think it's mostly that guayac and that clove that is in here there's a definite smokiness like that just kind of lingers over the entire fragrance this is a very spooky scent like this is something that i feel like i would smell at a haunted house type situation i wouldn't call this like a classic fall fragrance but i would call this a pretty classic halloween fragrance also it's it's a strong performer that's for sure so if this is if this is your jam this one is given a really good performance for me so all right, that is it for the candle breakdown here. Um, let's quickly talk about... All right, one more interruption. <laughs> We're almost done. We're getting there. All right, let's talk some Scentsy. First of all, um, I just realized that this is that this is leaking, so I'm going to have to be really careful when I show this. This is my Scentsy Baked Apple Pie Brick. <laughs> this brick is so juicy um the oils are like leaking out of the do you see the oils here on my little stack of paper towels the oils are just leaking out of the bottom so i have to be really careful with this one um i love that baked apple pie i actually also have it in uh, and this is what inspired me to grab the brick i knew i had a brick on backup but I also had a baked apple pie in just like the regular format here um this is such a delicious apple pie fragrance. I feel like this one's kind of heavy on the cinnamon, but it's not a super spicy cinnamon. 
Um, I will say I get a longer performance out of these regular bars than I do these bricks that I get in my club orders. I stand by this. Now, a couple of other people have also said that they feel this way, but I think that the bricks that are sent with club orders, I don't know that they perform the same as the regular bars. Now, bricks that are released in their like special collections, like this holiday collection that they had last year, I have no problems with these lasting as long as my regular bars. But just the bricks that come with the club orders are the ones that, for whatever reason, they don't seem to last as long in my warmers. So um, I've actually stopped adding the bricks as my half price item for right now. Um, but maybe, maybe I'll try it again because it has been a few months since I have gotten one. Honestly, I think I've had this baked apple pie probably for at least a year and a half so that's probably why it's as juicy as it is and um i really just need to use that up but anyway so there's another baked apple pie this is holly jelly cider so this definitely i would consider this a holiday scent but i also really like this one in the fall and i have this going in about half of my warmers right now and then i have the baked apple pie going in the other half it's a great combination together but I like the kind of cidery zing in this one. It's got like the perfect amount of spice. And then it just has like a little touch of like that like apple cider note as well. It's, this is delightful. I love this. So I think I might have one more of these bricks. I, I bought a number of them. And this one is just, it's so good right now. I'm, I'm a really big fan. Um, I also have ooh, the last little bit of a cake made of paradise. Uh, mm, I might put this one away for next summer. I love this one. I do have it in my club, but I did warm that just a little bit earlier this week. Man, this thing was leaking ever. Look at that. So that is oil that is from that brick. Luckily, I thought to pop it into this container here. Um, oh, oh, it got all over this too. Okay boy this is just making a big old mess hold on I, I cannot hold that up it's leaking everywhere what is this um this is whipped vanilla pear now i think this whipped vanilla pear was a part of the most recent bring back my bar um but it, it doesn't it doesn't say that sorry it's can you see this oil just leaking off of here this is from that baked apple pie by the way yeah is it yeah that's baked apple pie Oy, 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 that is a juicy juicy bar but anyway i i liked this whipped vanilla pear i will say pear is a little funky to my nose and after about a day this turned a little bit and it didn't smell quite as good to me so um not that i can get it anymore uh because bring back my bar is gone now but i don't know that i would get whipped vanilla pear again I really don't think I would. So um, anyway, there's lots of other great options from Scentsy. That's fine. Not everything has to speak to me. But anyway, you guys, that is everything for this week. Uh, thank you for the sitting through the multiple interruptions here. And um, a big thanks to Alf for finally showing up to work. Hi, huh, buddy. You're so sweet. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Here, say hi to everybody. Since they didn't get to hear much of your snores, let them see your cute little face. Here he is. The most perfect little gentleman. He's, he's so sick of me. That's okay. We're still best friends. Ooh, okay. Man, you are getting beefy. There you go. All right, you guys. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know what you're burning and melting in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.